Uh, with Vertu in the ACC, ranked 11th. With Dan Bonner, Mike Monaco with you. It's a six-point lead early on for the Knowles. on Saturday against Pittsburgh, and Coach Hamilton told us he's going to be a game-time decision tonight. Now, he did participate in shoot-around earlier today. And he needs to have a big offensive game. Balsha Kopravica got it underneath and stuffed it home. Going to beat this Florida State defense with one guy just dribbling the ball and driving it to the basket. Whoa! Kopravica got the block on Dang Gak at the rim. A herniated disc in his back. Still, of course, no Chris Likes. He's only played in two games this year. And Anthony Polite from three. Raekwon Gray leading Florida State. Gray is really a good ball handler. And Polite's got another. And Malik Osborne battled on the boards. Well, and Anthony Walker, 30% of his shots are threes, but in conference play, he shoots 24% from out there. First half. Picked off by Wong. Well, now Miami's got a, an advantage in numbers here. Nice and finish Isaiah by Wong. Isaiah Wong. And you said it. He's had a wonderful season. Just under 17 points a game. Five rebounds as well, and he gets that roll off the back <laughs> of the iron. The pandemic. Yeah, not a positive test since July for this Miami program as Nasir Brooks goes to work. He's got a chance at a three-point play. Minutes into the first half here in a rivalry game in Coral Gables. Much better ball movement for the Seminoles this time, and it results in a three-point basket. Wide open look. Courtesy of Sadar Calhoun, 46% from three, who now has nine early ones for the Knowles. Here's Brooks. Miami wants to play through him a lot more, but this time he turns it over. How about Kopravica taking it himself and laying it in? The seven foot one center. It's way to the next four out, according to Joey Brackets. Alani Yi made a strong cut. He finished, and he comes up hobbling for the Canes. Nate Jack. With another three. Nate Jack now with a couple from deep. Left that one short as he hit the deck. Wong with a head of steam. Throwing it up top for Olaniyi. And the legs look all right there. Under the guy who's had that largest scoring increase from the year prior. Boy, that is a deep one for Calhoun, and he drills it. Second one from deep. Just we're talking about him in the preseason and the way that he can impact the game. And man, when he puts it all together, he is fun to watch. Quincy oh, Ballard athletic. drops that in for two. And there goes Calhoun behind the back away from Wong. Barnes nice throwing it up top for Ballard. And one of five assists already for Scotty Barnes in nine minutes that he's been on the court here in the first half. He's just been terrific. And Dan, you saw Florida State up close and personal on Saturday Look at against that pass. And you were wowed by the passing. Polite finishes it off there. Anthony Polite off that feed from Barnes. Tried to match up with McGusty there defensively, and Ballard got a block on Gak. Still, it's a home loss to a team that's not a contending team in the Big East. Scotty Barnes with one hand from the elbow. As gregarious as Scotty Barnes is, he might have had something to say to Raekwon Evans at halftime in the locker room here at the Watsko Center as Koprovica starts the second half scoring. The number 11 team in the country, winners of eight of their last nine, and trying to get a seventh straight win over their rival in the Hurricanes. Elijah Olaniyi back out for Anthony Walker. Just 19% from three for his career. A friendly bounce, the sophomore from Baltimore. Kopravica from Barnes. There has been nobody anywhere near him. Got the second highest point total for Florida State with nine. There's McGusty. That's tough. And there's Raekwon Gray, who got it from Barnes. But that's what Raekwon Gray does. Tough shot, Isaiah Wong. Loves that fadeaway. 
through the lob that time, a bit too ambitious looking for Koprovica. One back the other way, and there's Raekwon Gray coming to the rescue. With the pass that he made, but he really makes up for it. He hustles. He actually got in front of Isaiah Wong. <laughs> What they thought was a deep, talented team, and they just kept losing guys. Scotty Barnes, the transition slam. They can't really practice right now because they don't want to risk someone else getting injured in practice, and the guys that are playing have to lock so many minutes that they can't really wear them down in practice. Polite from the corner. Gray on the board just tipped it in around Alaniyi. Might be time to start triple-double watch for Raekwon Gray. Ten points, nine rebounds, five assists as well with about 15 left as Walker scores to get up to seven. Foul on Saturday as well. Another Barnes pass. Wilkes doesn't miss this time. He gets the roll. Skills and the kind of tenacity and the kind of attitude and leadership ability that he can play point guard. playing there's no reason to change that formula Scotty Barnes is number five in the ESPN 100 right now slots in at 13 for the state up by 19 Kovrovica with the slam really matching what Miami has done as a team well, of course, you got to remember, coming off the bench, uh, Calhoun came off the bench and had 12. Barnes has come off the bench. Kovica came off the bench in this game. He's got oh, the he's size Connie advantage Hawkins on or Wong. something there with uh, <laughs> one hand. He fouled Gray, who dumped it off to Polite. Gray now yeah. has six assists in the game. Polani oh, on the receiving end from Walker. And here comes Magusti. Wong's got 21. Three more for Isaiah Wong. Very active. Big time sophomore season for Wong from Piscataway, New Jersey. He's been able to get to the rim in some big moments this year, whether it's Indiana or Wake Forest. Wong is feeling it. And Isaiah Wong with 27 now. Barnes went out there to the corner and actually put some pressure on him. Barnes' shoulder sagged a little bit when the conversion anyway. Here's Calhoun again. Well, it's like when you're playing Florida State, you're almost surprised when you're open. Barnes have to go a long way to get anywhere close to those. After hours with Dan Bonner coming up later. Raekwon Gray with a lay-in, building on his double-double he's had tonight. He had a great finish to last season, his true freshman year. But it did not start the way that, that he wanted, and he's been open about it. I mean, with their bench, they are loud. Malik Osborne is always in the middle of it, and certainly speaks to the culture that we've talked about. Miami down by 17. This is Willie Harrington. Gets the roll. He had a three earlier and a good burst from a walk-on for Miami and Harrington. It's in front of the other team's point guard and blocks his shot in a fast break situation. Mm -hmm. There's a three for Travis Light, fifth-year senior. The Virginia native is good from deep. Anthony Walker with a response from three. Has hung around. I mean, they've got it at 15 right now. We told you how beat up they've been all season. It's just been wild to see. A dump off there leads to two for Quincy Ballard. Meanwhile, at Clemson on Saturday, then at Virginia and home against Boston College to close out the regular season as Florida State wins it tonight, 88-71.